guys, day eight today. Mother's just getting ready. Um, we've not long been up, um, and we got a packed day today, haven't we? It's okay. Yeah. So our new um, table has come. So I have to get that built. Ooh, one. Yeah. Get get the table built, and then I get the kitchen sorted yeah. and then we can use the table to do what we want to do the pine cones and yeah. yeah so we'll start getting all that done and we'll catch up with you in a minute so we also have one more surprise for Bubba we've got to go into the front room because I think somebody magical might be waiting there for you yeah Where is it, baby? Out of the shell. What does the next say? Hello, dear Princess Bubba. I am your scout elf. Is that right? Yeah. I have been sent from Santa himself to see how nice you've been. Sorry I am late. I've been forced to quarantine due to COVID-19. I hope you didn't forget I was coming. Happy holidays, Mr. Elf. Wow. Can't believe you've got your own, very own stuff. Right there, yeah. Where, where is he going to live, then? Um, we're going to have to live in that house. Hi guys, happy Vlogmas Day 8. I hope you enjoyed all of our videos so far. Um, and for this video, we're going to be doing some art, and I'm really excited. I'll show you what I'll be using. Uh, I remember where I've put it. Um, I'm going to be doing some watercolouring today on the pad that I got. Um, and I thought I'd take you guys with me just to do some arts and crafts today because I thought that'd be quite nice. Now, Daddy's not home, so I'm not sure how I'm going to film this, um, but I'll do my absolute best. Um, and yeah, I'm going to pop you down so I can choose which one to do. Okay, so I have the pad here. So there's 12 designs that I can choose from. And I showed them when I got the book, so I'm not sure which ones I'm going to do yet. Um, I quite like the Mickey and Minnie one. Um, so that might be one. There's a Cinderella one. There's lots of different ones. Um, oh, I like this one. It says like get merry and stuff. So that's quite nice. Um, da -da. Lots of Lion King in here as well. Some Aurora. Um, yeah, okay. I think I've decided which one I'd like to do. And it is this one. So I'm just going to take it out of the pad. Um, this way it stops the other pages from being ruined if anything were to happen. Oh, I thought it would be a bit easier to get out. Just got to be careful. Oh my goodness, it's ripping. I did not expect it to rip on the way out. Okay, it's a little bit ripped on the edge, but it's okay. So, yeah, pop that on my board. I need to get some tape just to stick it down. And um, by doing this, it means that your page is a little bit less likely to warp, but it probably still warp a little bit. Okay, so I've taped it down. I've got my watercolor paints, and now I'm going to put them in here. Yes, I know it's messy, but this is just an artist thing. If anybody else gets this. Yeah, um, I'm going to mix my colours in here and then do some watercolouring.
So this is how it turned out. I had a little bit of a leak down here, but it doesn't really matter too much. Um, I like it a lot. And I tell you, I haven't opened any yet, and it's already the 8th. Hmm. So. Always sniffing. Couldn't help it. So number one. Oh my god, they're tiny. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so cute. This has got like little gingerbread and trees and snowmen and jingle bells in it. So that was number one. Always got to shut the door. Would you like to see what we watched? What have we watched, baby? Mulan. What do you think of it? You liked it? The acting was a bit bad. Yeah. But I think it's not as bad as what people are making out. I feel like people were judging it based off of the original, whereas this was obviously trying to be something different. Yeah, it's definitely different. Yeah. So I think it needs to be judged on a whole entirely different basis. But yeah, I thought it was good. No. <laughs> no. You can do that. <laughs> so what are we going to do now? I don't know. Is it not going to work? Maybe I can stretch it a little bit. I just don't think it's going to shut. Hold on, take a camera. Wait. Oh. Did it close then? I think so. Okay. The reef. The reef. You want to show them the reef? Can I take this off? Yeah. Careful of the bow. Yeah. Uh oh. I did it. You did it. Look how pretty it is. It's yeah. real as well. Yeah. It's a, it, yeah, it's like real. Okay. Oh, do we put it on to, onto one of these? Yeah, I think so. But a bit more sensual. I think it's meant to be like this. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. You see if the door closes now. Enough to lock it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Look at the bag. The bag? Yeah. What bag? That bag. Oh. So this wasn't our mat, this kind of came with the house. Nice. So we're replacing it. It's a Christmas one. We got a Christmas one here for when you walk in.
puppy? Yeah. Christmas mask. <coughs> Best what time is it, Angel? She's just tracing her words right now. It helps her spell, doesn't it, Papa? What day are we on? Eight. We found it. Okay, let's see what it is. Anna, in charge. You want to read, read the blurb? Um, Angel has gone away for a few days and it's up to Anna to take care to take charge of Arendelle. Do you remember it's Anna wonders if she'll be able to roll as well as Elsa? With a special note from her sister be able to help. Get ready and read it then. You know, read it. The papa. No, read it without dada. No. Silly. This is Stuffy for tonight. His name's Barney. And Papa made him all by herself. We got this bear making kit from Tesco. We named him Barney because he's. There's this like cake. That we can, we can get in England are called Barney's. I think they're probably German or something. But yeah, he looks like Barney. He's so adorable. And so is Bubba. <laughs> this looks okay. <clears throat> Anna in charge. It was a beautiful day in Arendelle, but Princess Anna was feeling nervous. Elsa had to go away for a short while, and she was leaving her sister in charge. I won't be gone long, Anna, I promise, said Elsa, smiling. Anna sighed. She didn't like being away from her sister for even a little while. Before leaving, Elsa gave Anna a hug. She then passed her sister a note. I've written down some tips on how to rule, said Elsa. I'll be back before you know it. Elsa then climbed into her carriage and the pair waved goodbye to one another. Anna went back inside and was about to read Elsa's note. Suddenly, one of the castle guards knocked on the door and entered her room. Excuse me, your highness, the guard said. You are needed in the throne room. Anna's heart pounded loudly. There couldn't be a problem already. She hadn't read Elsa's note yet. Anna arrived in the throne room to find two farmers having an argument. She couldn't make herself heard until the guard whistled sharply. The farmers became silent and looked towards Anna. Thank you, Anna said to the guard. Now, what seems to be the problem, gentlemen? His chickens are eating all of my corn, one farmer shouted. His cows keep eating all my grass. And the other yelled back. Anna listened to each farmer, wondering what she needed to do. It was then she remembered Elsa's note. Anna opened the note and quickly read the first few lines. Problems can be hard to solve, Elsa had written. You have a good heart. Do what you think is right. What do I think is right? Elsa asked herself silently. El Anna, no. Anna asked herself silently. Anna had listened to both sides of the argument, and she had seen that both men had a point. She thought long and hard about what advice to offer. What did her heart tell her was the right thing to do? You know what they need to do? Put up a fence. Finally, Anna jumped up. I have an idea, she said. Let the chickens eat the corn, the cows eat the grass. And you can share the milk and eggs. Anna held her breath and waited. The farmers looked at each other, then they slowly nodded. 
They both liked that idea. As the two men walked away arm in arm, Anna smiled. She had solved her first problem of the day. That was a good idea too. The farmers had barely left the throne. Uh, the farmers had barely left the throne room when Alina came in. She explained the royal regatta was about to start. The Arendelle team were one person short. If they don't find someone, they might not be able to compete, added Alina. Anna looked out the window at the boats lined up for the race and checked the next line note. Uh, checked the next line in the note. I hope you aren't bored. Don't be afraid to mix it up. Anna knew what she had to do. She raced down to the water, jumped into Arendelle's boat and began to row. She helped Arendelle finish second. Anna was happy she had helped the team, but her day was getting started. Next, she had a visit with a group of children. Taking a deep breath, Anna walked into her schoolroom. Once again, she pulled out Elsa's note. You have a great big heart, Elsa had written. Use it to have fun. Anna thought of all the times she and Elsa had played together when they were children. She smiled as she remembered sliding down frozen hills and building snowmen. Anna realised that she needed to have fun. Now that she liked her... Uh, Anna realised that she needed to have fun now, like she had fun then. Who wants to play hide and seek? Anna asked, trying to, tying a piece of cloth over her eyes. She began to count. One, two, three. The rest of Anna's day flew by. She met with a cook to review the menu for the ice harvester dinner the following week. Then she went to see the Royal Papersmith to make sure the invitations to the annual spring ball were on schedule. She even inspected the troops to make sure their uniforms were spotless. As the day wound down, Anna went back to the harbour to watch the rest of the boat races and cheer on the other teams. When the races were finished, she went to the award ceremony to greet all of Arendelle's guests. Before Anna realised it, the sun was beginning to set. Sitting down in a chair, Anna decided to read the rest of Elsa's note. After a busy day, it is nice to see the stars. The best view is from the roof, it said. When she reached the roof, Anna saw a picnic waiting for her. Next to it was another note. Anna picked it up and read it. Good job today, Elsa wrote. You can beat me any time. Anna gasped. She didn't know if she was ready for that. Looking back down at the note, she read the last few lines. But don't worry, I'll be back tomorrow. Anna let out a sigh of relief. Being in charge was a lot of fun, but having Elsa back would be better. The end. Oh, the farmers. What do you think of the story? Baby girl's been having a bit of a tough day. So, I think it's time to snuggle up and get all cosy and all for the night. <laughs> you know one thing we didn't do today? Were you thinking the same thing? <laughs> see you guys soon. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you for day 10 tomorrow. Double digits. You know that was day 9 we read? You know that was day 8 we read? See you tomorrow for day 9. Oops.